Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do us for our games this week. What we're going to do now, as we do every week, is mm-hmm. we're going to get into our buy, hold, sell, and watch list. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's see who we're buying. Targets acquired. Target acquired. I, th- I think Lockie Neal is a buy this week, mate. And okay. he scored 129 last week. He doesn't play the pies that well and doesn't really like it at the G. So he only averages 94 against the Pies and has a career average of 103 at the G. But that's not to say that he won't get his 120 this week. And then mm-hmm. Essendon next week at home, who don't Ooh, tag nice. either. Geez, that could be really nice. And priced fairly cheaply, too, at 590k at the moment. Okay, yeah, I uh, I like that one horse. But I'm going to counter, counter balance you with uh, yeah. Noah Anderson, mate, against the Ds. No Petrarca, no Oliver. I really like this for Noah Anderson. It's at home at People First Stadium, which no, we know that means that he goes 130-plus at People's First Stadium, averaging 133 this year there. Um, I can really see a massive game for him at 491k horse. Yeah. Uh, Chad Warner, ladies and gentlemen, at 466k. Bleached. The bleached one himself, 164 last week from 33 touches. He is a pod play this week. Last time he played Essendon, he scored 102, and he averages 110 in his last three against the Dons. And the or the first or second member, whichever way you want to see it, of the CKC club, Bro. Luke Ryan. Back-to-back Go tons for this man. And he's only priced at 545k, so... If you need someone to replace Sheasel in your back line, I recommend picking Luke Ryan up this week. That's a good one, horse. I like uh, I like the way that you're going about that, mate. So I reckon we that's a good buy. Let's get some holds. Oh, very nice, horse. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Stewart. He was down last week, only scoring seventy six, but. Mm-hmm. Midfield Stewie is something we love to see. He is still ranked in the top five for defenders since the buy rounds, and he averages 115 against the Saints. So you strongly hold like him. This. Yep, I love that from you, horse. Uh, Toby Green. Uh, if you do have him in the forward line, you're just gonna you're just gonna hold on to that horse. Um, he has only had four touches last week. He'll be better than that, and I don't mind this. It's going to be a great matchup against Frio this week. Let's be honest here. So. We're going to have mm-hmm. to wait and see how that uh, that's going to formulate their horse. And then um, I'm going to say it, horse. I'm going to do it. Please do. The Keysus, Ben Keys is definitely a hold after Isaac Rankin came back and the Ben Keysus went three goals, 19 dispo- disposals, and dominated the dogs. So we'll see how he goes against the power horse. I know he doesn't average well against the power, but you're definitely holding it. I hope Radical Leah tags him. Oh, jeez. He'll eat him. <laughs> I don't, I'm clutching at straws here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You are. You're doing your best, eh? But the keys is yeah. just keys in. Uh, mate, that's who we're holding. Let's see yeah. who we are selling. <laughs> and to kick it off, ladies can... and gentlemen, this one hurts us, but Tim English, mm-hmm. if you had the trades, you're selling. He might be yep. back next week, but he might not be. But if you can upgrade into Marshall or Jerry, yep. do that right now. Agreed there, horse. Um, Clayton Oliver is done for the year, so he can piss off. You can sell him. Um, it's done and dusted now, mate. Ribs, wrist, uh, hangover, whatever injury it is, but and he's done for the season. He's look, He's going to be looked to be priced at 450 k at the start of Supercoach next season. Oh, yeah, let's get excited for him again just to fuck us over. Hey, let's yeah. all do it again. Woo, deja vu. Um, yeah. she, she, unfortunately, Harry Sheasel's most likely done. Uh, he's definitely done for this week. He could be done for the year uh, with mm-hmm. the low ankle. Um, but we got Hawks next week, so that's a lot of running and a lot of pressure. Um, yeah, Sheasel may be done for the year horse, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, Shy Bolton. Mate, he checked out weeks and weeks ago, and he's uh, yeah, definitely definitely a sell if you have him because he could not be wanting to go uh, to WA anymore if he tried. But five round average of sixty six, and he's priced at three hundred and sixty four k for a reason. Yeah, and they play the Hawks are in red. I reckon there's a chance the Hawks win by hundred points this week. I reckon there's a good chance of that too. 
If mm. I the only thing that's stopping the Hawks of winning by hundred is if they don't want to win by hundred and don't pull out their full max effort. Yeah. And mm. this one hurts me because it's part of our bolter bet. But Charlie Kerno, thank you, Jeff. off, mate. He had a favorable run home. Yeah. Instead, he did. He shits the bed, and now he's injured. Just trade him to Philippu if he's in. If not, Tom Powell. Yep, I like it, horse. I like that. Um, look, in all honesty, horse, there's nothing. There was nothing wrong with going for Charlie. They had a very favorable run home. He should have been able to kick a lot of goals. And instead, Carlton decided to shit the bed, and he got injured. So, unfortunately, it happens. It is what it is, horse. But I think um, it might be time for us to uh, have a little bit of a watch. Look. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. It's what I do when you shower at night. All right, um, let's have a look who's going to take Clary's role in the midfield horse. We know it's going to be Viney. We know it's going to be uh, Rivers. Yep. We think it's probably going to be Keziah Pickett. That will be the main option that will go in there. I think we'll see a bit of Tom Sparrow in there as well, which I don't mind mm-hmm. for our for our darts. Um, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I can get around that as well, horse. Do you see anyone else? If it's no, maybe Neil Bullen. Maybe, yeah, but no, mm. I, I think they get smashed. I think so too. Yeah, like I'm thinking Fremantle versus Melbourne earlier in the year type Ooh. of smashing. 92 points. I think it's going to be well over 10 goals. Yep. Don't mind it. Don't mind it, horse. Don't mind it, horse. Um, yep. We're also going to be looking at who's going to take Harry Sheasel's role in North Melbourne playing in the midfield and the forward line, being that. That connection piece, so you mm-hmm. so you say. Um, look, I have a feeling that they may be trying to look at Jaden Stevenson to do this role. Oh, um, look, he's done some all right movement from the back line in previous I'm, games. He has I'm a hand gonna, injury. Yeah, who does? Jaden Stevenson. Yeah, Sebo. Yeah, yeah. That's why he didn't play last week. Also he's at two hundred. He's at two hundred seventy-eight k. So it's quite cheap. His last two games that he's played in, he scored 85 and 104. They've both been off halfback without Colby McKercher and Zach Fisher. Disregard. So I think that there is a chance where either Fish goes forward or McKercher plays a bit more midfield time. Tom Powell moves back up the field. There's definitely a player there that we can look at for for a goal. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm trying to say because Miller, but Miller's. Miller Bergman is back in the side and he plays defense um, down there with Archer. And then it's going to be one of the other guys on there as well. So there's definitely someone there. Let me just try and formulate it after training tomorrow. (laughs) Okay. Who's going to play for Carlton? Who cares? Um, We know one is going to be Cooper Lord. Lord. Hey, there we go. Not bad by me. Um, Cooper Lord's one of them. Uh, Do we know anyone else yet? Um, I know who's not playing for Carlton. Oh, These guys, <laughs> all seventeen of them. <laughs> and then, you know what Skitty says to that? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> seventeen, seventeen, seventeen. Oh shit! Uh, oh, do you reckon geez. Bins comes in? Yeah, he has to, doesn't he? Yeah. What he's averaging like what? 55 in the VFL? Surely he has to come 55, in. 55, 20 goals a game, 300 tackles. He's got to have a crack. I want to see Ashton Muir come in. He played well yes, in the preseason as a forward. I want to see him come in. Give him a crack, Carlton. Yep. Um, um, and I've got one more for your horse. Um, yeah. Showdown. Yeah. Who you got? I'm not a fan of either team, but I'm aware. It's always a good game between these two teams. Yep. And Deadly, I'm going for Port, and Keys is going to shit the bed. I'm uh, – that, that's that's a good one there by you, Horse, but I'm actually backing in our man, Ryan, from Astute News. <laughs> and I'm going with our, our man, Deadly, as well, and I'm going to go with the Crom. Up the Crom. This has nothing to do with me hating Jason Horn Francis. Let's carry on, Horse. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Captains. <laughs> We're going to – Are you ready, kids? Love that from you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have five captain's choices here that I want you or we want you to consider 
this weekend. Our first two are perhaps as straightforward captain options this yeah. week as what we'll have all year, and yeah. that is Tristan McSherry or Marcus yeah. Montempelli. So yeah. you want to talk us through why X should be a captain this week, Skitty? Triple X, X-rated, yeah. Xylophone. X, uh, mate, it's fantastic here because he's probably going to be coming up against Sam Darcy. Sam Darcy has not got any physical attributes that is going to be able to compete with X's strength. Um, X is just going to be able to dominate him any single time that it is um, not a non-centre bounce ruck contest. Um, he had 185 last week against Bailey Williams. Um, there's no Tim English. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, he's the, now the fourth overall scorer for Supercoach this year, Horse. Just give him the AA blazer now. X is my vote for uh, for the captaincy this yeah for the captaincy this week horse. But yeah. the other the other option that we have is obviously who he's playing against, and that is Marcus Bont and Pally. And do you want to tell me why they should choose Bont? Yeah, no English will make it harder for Bont to win centre bounces. But how can you go against the man? North don't have a matchup for him. Weather won't play a role in this one as it's at Marvel. Average is one hundred and sixty three in his last two against the Roos, and scored one hundred and eighty two in his last game at Marvel. And you said before, how many touches did he have even though um, Tristan McSherry won the battle against English quite comfortably last time? He had like 33 touches, didn't he? X had uh, X had 11 more hitouts and Marcus Bontempelli had 35 and a goal. Yep, there you go. <laughs> if you don't have either of those two, you're probably not situated that well in the standings, but... Noel Anderson is one I want you to look at at home, ladies and gentlemen. No Petraka, no Oliver means big things for Anderson this week. If you don't have Ikshiri or Bontempelli, I want you to slap the VC on this man. He averages over 130 at home. I can see a massive week coming for Anderson. Price is only 491K. And the last time he played against Melbourne, he scored 189 super coach points. Yes, he did, horse. Massive there from Noah Anderson. I'm going to back in your man, actually, as well. At one, I reckon he might be my VC horse on Friday night. And that's Zach Merritt. Uh, 132, 139, his last two against the Swannies. He scored 145 last week from 32 touches. And let's be honest here, he has to do something to keep Essendon's final hopes alive because no one else on that team gives a shit about the red and uh, the Don the Sash rather than Zach Merritt. Um, so I'm more than happy to uh, to bank in his averages as well against the Swans. I'll have a crack at him at VC, so I think right now. Have you got any more? Yes, but not that guy. Yeah. Roel Marshall Geelong. against Geelong this week, who gives up the second most points to Rucks. 126 Supercoach points in each of his last two games as well. And one of them was against Nan Curvis, who's really hard to score against. A solid VC option before the Dogs North game on Saturday. So his last two, he scored 126 against Nank, 126 against Big Oscar, who are both really hard Ruckman to score against. I think this could be a 140, 145 game for Big Marshall. Yeah, I agree with that. Love that from you, Horse. Bang yeah. on the money, mate. Um, let's get into our Unlimited League. It's time for some news from around the league. And our man, Marcus, who is coaching Teach Me To Football, mm-hmm. is now ranked 32nd overall. So he's gone up nine spots this week. Hopefully he can crack a top 25 by the end of the year. Good work, Marcus. Mm-hmm. If you well, do Marcus. win our Insight Unlimited League, you win a Supercoach Champions ring, thanks to the guys at SC Rings. The high score in our league, in our Unlimited League for round 22, went to team the Wiggly Pigs, coached Wiggly. by Michael with a massive score of 2,695. Shit. That's a massive score, but it was still only good for 400th overall this week. So, good my effort. God, there was some – well, there was – wasn't there the first 2,900 score last week? I think so, yeah. Absolutely unbelievable team yeah. and game. Oh, well, it was ridiculous. So, we have three teams still inside the top 100 in our league, and we also have 24 teams in our unlimited league that are inside the top 1,000. So to you guys, oh yeah, good luck. Hopefully you can stick fat for the year and finish inside the top 1,000. Mate, love that. one of my favourite times of the week, Punters Club. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Uh, yes, horse, we love our yes. Punters Club, and we absolutely appreciate the 
hell out of our Punters Club president, Kizza, and uh, VP Deadly as well. They do some absolute amazing work. Um, we don't just have AFL multis, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. We have we have a horses <laughs> subsection. We have dog subsection. We have tennis multis that go in there. We have anything that any of the boys think that I can find value on in there. Um, we have a lot of different things. But what we have to make sure of is if, if you want to be part of this, you go into the Discord, you click on AFL, and then under there, there is one that is called Punters Club. And our president, Kizza, he does some absolute amazing work there. In there, he's already put up a few markets that you can hit right now. Um, and you know mm-hmm. what? Also, I'm going to be nice enough to let the people know that aren't in the Discord of what they are currently missing out. He's got a whole write-up on who he believes could be that extra piece that are going to be kicking the goals for Carlton. Obviously, there's a lot of good, um, a lot of good value there in that game. Crips for two goals is currently five bucks, and that's on Bet three six five. Maddie Kennedy, which is the one I like, horse. He's six dollars twenty five on Neds for two goals. Blake Acres is nine bucks for two goals on sports bet. We also have um he also likes Kennedy if he plays only midfield for his darts. Twenty five point uh, twenty five disposals on doubles three bucks. Love that one. Trent Rivers right now. Do people know that if you got him on tab, he's currently five bucks for thirty disposals like that. And then I think this one's the one that I'm I'm already on this one, actually, horse. Both Noah Anderson and the diddly Sam Flanders to combine for 35 touches. I know that sounds a lot, but up there, it has been done by both of them earlier this year. 15 bucks. Love that. I and reckon I like to make that on, yeah, Mac Andrew this week. Oh, Mac Daddy. But as we always say, horse, if you do want to be mm-hmm. part of it, we welcome you to join. Um, we don't care if you bet one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, hundred bucks, right. whatever. We always encourage you to bet within your means, and as always, locky bramble responsibly. That's right, brother. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Um, question time. Yeah, it's question time. Let's answer your questions for the week ahead. You know what, mate? Before we get stuck into the questions, give yourself a plug, brother. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Um, yeah, if you guys like your NBA fantasy, me, G, Mally, and Matrix, uh, we're, our draft boards are now out on Patreon, so I believe that there is a link in the description, and you can come see all four of our draft boards. You can consensive rank boards, all the players' references that we can with complete uh, statistics and uh, what they do well, what they don't do well. And then also, too, if you want, Join the uh, join our Discord, and in there, there's an NBA one. You can ask any, all four of us, whatever the hell you like. I will answer any question. I don't care about that. Uh, as Deadly said, Trey Young, top ten, Skitty, no, but I have him around the mark. I have him sitting about fourteen, so on the turn of the twelve around mark. I like that for Trey Young. Beautiful. Uh, and more with our NBA shows, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. The Atlanta Hawks pre- um, team preview is out now on our Discord if you want to watch that. And me and G will be cracking out um, Boston and Brooklyn shortly. Beautiful. Ian Johnson, Essendon beats Sydney. Whoever thinks Sydney, I will bolt a bet your beer at the footy as I think Essendon win. Who's down? I'm down. Sydney win. Shit. Put it in the uh, Discord, mate. It's at the SG, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm down too. No, no, it's at Marvel, I think. Oh, is it at Marvel? Oh, yeah, it is at Marvel. Yeah, you're right. I still like Sydney. Yeah. Um, Kizza, Melbourne's culture is on the same trajectory as Carlton season. Love that. <laughs> Wait, tell them we're coming, though, horse. Let's all Let's laugh at Melbourne. Culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? Ah, that's good. That's Boyd good. being injured is like not having Owen Davy Jr. available. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a big Archie Roberts fan too, mate. Flag um, dance. I'm, it's they would have noticed about Bombers fans though. They just pissed off Archie Perkins and now all love Archie Roberts. It's like, hang on a minute. What about Archie Perkins? You all you all loved him. Archie Perkins? Yeah. Yeah, until he shit the bed. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Checks out. Carlton Caesar season is like Anthony Bennett's NBA career. That's a that's a bloody good one there, horse. The um, I, I love it as well. I don't think I've ever had a week where Carlton supporters have been so quiet. 
No, there's nothing. Like, the, the Hawks have deflated the whole club. Every supporter that goes for Carlton had been deflated by the Hawks. You can actually drive from one end of Ligon Street to the other end without stopping now. Yeah, you can't actually. It's there's still Giros and stuff just being thrown at each other across Giros, the street. And, kebabs. And, and coffees being exchanged. They're still drinking coffees in the middle of the street. Yeah. Can confirm how much Hamo is a smart man. Do you know why he's a smart man? Uh because he Because he sponsors Loud Man when he blows <laughs> Ryan from a shoot instead. <laughs> exactly right. I uh, love it. He loves Ben Keys. I don't. Who doesn't love the Keys? That's the real question. Carlton season has less legs than Joe from Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, deadly got me with that one. I'm not going to lie to you. I was, yeah. uh, I was hysterical after that. <laughs> if Houston was at Essendon, he couldn't beat us after the siren. I'm right with you, Flag Dons. Smart. Smart. If you yeah. can beat them, join them. That's what they always say, isn't it, horse? That's right. Looks like Ed Richards may be mid only next year. We'll post the update for 2025 positions. In Discord later tonight. Yes, my man. Superstar. He's he's a bloody yeah. Rate his work. Mm-hmm. Flag dog. Vickery it. makes the Pollock trade look good. No, it doesn't. No, it honestly doesn't. It's still bad. Both are bad. 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 I'm just happy that we got Jasper Pittard out of it. That was good. I actually really like this. Carlton will struggle to outscore Reagan. Fuck off. <laughs> Hey, I'm sick of oh, seeing right. people disrespect Ray Gun. She's an Australian treasure, all right? No one else can break dance as good as her. You know, the funny thing is, she won a qualifier to, to qualify who, for the Olympics. Who turned up to the qualifier? She actually, she actually beat was someone just, to get to the Olympics. Was it just, it was hold at bloody uh, upstairs at Revolver at 3 a.m. and just 20 people on the dance floor and she just got picked out. Mate, if she if she was sober doing that, I would have been I would be disgraced at it. Surely she yeah. was off her mind. Oh, she she had to have been blind. Had to have been. It's unbelievable. What's unbelievable. the lowest score a side has scored in the AFL in a total match? Uh, Carlton this weekend. I think it was actually. I think it's St Kilda though, because remember no. Saints bad yeah. for a very very long time. Yeah, no one's in the spoons in a row. Carlton is the team that decides to try and chase Pickles down but falls over at the finish line to make the finals. Except they're not going to play yeah. finals. <laughs> Jonas, <laughs> the man that never misses. He's actually yes. pretty spot on here. McGovern, Owies, Owies, Motlop, Owies. Zach Williams, Elijah Hollands, Kennedy, Cripps swapping. See, but I agree with that. But also Elijah Hollands has been playing up the field more, so he may mm. not be in the forward line. You just don't know. Because apparently I'm hearing that Lewis Young might be coming in and Pitnet might be playing forward and you, Lewis oh, Young might be playing Ruck. Yuck. That, that's what's been swirling around now too. At Horse, is there a Bolter Bet section in the Discord as Deadly and I have a Bolter Bet? I'm on Essendon, Deadly on Sydney. Yes, I'll tag yeah. you in it as soon as we finish the show, mate. Horse, yes. he's staring me down. I'm backing Port too, but Keys to poll. Oh, if Keys polls, wow. I will stand in front of the thousands of people at the MCG and I will skull my beer. Do you reckon, um, what are you going to do if Keys wins the showdown medal? Best on. Jesus. <laughs> we'll, we'll put and a poll in the chat. We'll put a poll in the chat. I'll, oh, let, the, the, I'll let the Discord decide. Yeah, beautiful. Ja- yes. Jasper's back in the draw. Beautiful. I like that. Um, the boy. Stringer only cares about where his next fucking pie is coming from. <laughs> Did you see that vision of where he had, what, it was four minutes left. He had uh, Merritt completely wide open, about 35 metres out on a pretty bad angle, and he decided to bomb it long to the square, and then they killed it. Just Don't selfish, that. mate. That's that's what Stringer does. Carlton's team is receding quicker than Stringer's hairline. <laughs> How many primos are you fielding this week, Skitty? Fuck, I don't know. Not many. I... Not many, if any, I'll tell you that much, mate. I will tell you that I have cover in my back line, except I've got Sheasel out. I've got all of my midfield playing. I've got Timmy English out. 
So that may be a zero for me there because I've got Nathan Kruger on my bench. And then I've got covering my forward line with Kerno out. So I am, yeah, I'll, I'll be playing with two emergencies. I have 16 primos. I have 16 players playing this week. <laughs> oh, really? One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, eight, nine, and twenty. Oh. I'll have twenty. I'll have twenty-two. No, wait, no, no, no. Hang on. I have Sean Manor. Oh, good. Good. I can get seventeen on the field. Beautiful. I'm looking at one with Mac Andrew, two goals plus thirty-five for Flanders, Anderson for twenty-five, or thirty-five for Flanders and Anderson, twenty-five oh, for Real. Geez. If that gets up seven hundred, get around it. I'm cheering you I on, like Corey. It. Hopefully it gets home, mate. I like Johnson, that. His dog is flying around Ipswich race three and race six again, and they did have a win last week. So, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen, jump in the Discord. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, Same race as well. Right? Ian Johnson, bets on. Yep, we're on. Done. Done. Um, Go Swans. We got? <laughs> Ian Johnson, he said, I'll break dance at the pub on Saturday and show you how it's done. Damn. Horse will probably have similar to Reagan next week. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put her to shame, mate. Good old Reagan. Hey, she's an Aussie icon, all right? She made it to yep. the Olympics. I, I like it. She got a free trip to the Olympics in, in Europe. Yep. Play on to yep. it. You should see my moves with a kebab in hand at 2 a.m., mate. I've got her covered easy. Bellissimo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kizza. What's the fine for running on the MCG these days? Isn't it eight grand? Nah, it's like 20. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought it was eight. It used to be eight. Those bastards. They, they, don't they get yeah. enough? You're, and you're right, Jonas. This week, Carlton have as much chance of winning Supercoach as winning Supercoach as DR going out on a date with Studi, that Studi bloke. Yeah, there's no comment there. Supercoach DR <laughs> is an absolute ripper, ripper bloke. Um, deadly keys gut. Yeah, you'll lose all your money, mate. Um, no, love it. I'm desperate for Chester to play this week. It's that bad. Oh, brilliant, brilliant yeah. horse. <laughs> um, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we knock off for the evening, mate? Uh, well, as I, as always, thank you so much to our beautiful bastards in the chat. You guys have been absolutely hilarious as always uh, tonight. Uh, we love doing this. Uh, we love putting on the uh, the show, the Inside Fantasy Sports Show, uh, for you guys, and uh, you make it so much better and so much fun. So we're just going to continue to do that. Obviously, uh, for what two more rounds? Oh, one more round. Uh, yeah, two more rounds, and then we've mm -hmm. got our uh, we've got our round twenty four going to the uh, going to the game. The Richmond and Suns game. Yeah, that's and right, then... ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested, please send me a DM or um, message us on here to let us know that you're interested. We'll add you to the uh, we'll add you to the Discord and we'll get you involved. We're all going to buy some tickets in a decent area so we can all sit together and have a beer. That is next Saturday. So if you can let us know by close of business tomorrow, that would be fantastic so I can get us some decent seats. It is Dusty's farewell game, so there will be quite a few at the G. Um What's going on here? Uh deadly uh, got a port bought a portable charger yesterday and now it's already broken <laughs> and uh he's just put forty bucks down the drain. So how good's that? <laughs> it made me laugh. <laughs> happened to, it's happened to me too. Those portable chargers are shit. They're terrible. They are terrible. But if you are interested mm -hmm. in joining Skitty and I at the MCG next Saturday, 215, Richmond versus Gold Coast. We will catch up beforehand for a stubby and something to eat before we head across the G. And then afterwards, uh, we'll catch up at a pub somewhere and have a few more yeah. Chartinsies and Chartins. enjoy the Denzel Froffingtons and whatever else that goes with it. I think Essendon and Brisbane are Saturday night next week. So hopefully I'm blind enough not to remember any of that game by that stage. Yeah, thank you for you tonight, Skitty. It's no, been an you, absolute pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are well aware at home, for those that have joined us each episode this year, we are big. What is it? Charger made in Carlton. No wonder it broke down already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Dude. Yeah, that checks anyway, out. Just like, could not finish the job. No, it is okay not to be okay, and it's not weak to speak. Yeah, so yeah. if you're struggling at home, please reach out to someone, the most important person in this world, on this earth is you. So reach out, talk to someone, write your thoughts down, go and have, go for a walk, get some fresh air, 
It is never as bad as it seems. So please reach out if you're not okay. And it is okay not to be okay. Skitty, mm-hmm. I've had a ball. This is our second last preview show for the year. Oh. We've got our review show next week, and then we're into our last round, grand final week of AFL Supercoach before we get stuck into our Brownlow episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to want to miss our review show Sunday night, 8 p.m., coming to you live here at the Inside Fantasy Sports Network. Skitty, yes, sir. horse, we're out. We'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Bye, our merch.